So we're in a new year now and there are a lot of different predictions floating out on the crypto web about what's going to be happening with crypto in general. And uh, let's take a look today at all of these different predictions. We've been going through maybe 15 to 20 of them. I'm going to give you my own opinion and then also I want you guys to leave your own opinion in the comments down below so then we can kind of get a discussion going about what you think is going to be happening with crypto, altcoins, Bitcoin, everything in the year of 2022. So if that all sounds good. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get straight into it. Enjoy. So right now the market is down a little bit, but we're not really here to focus on the market per se today. We are going to be looking at some opinion pieces uh, on over on Coindesk and we're going to be taking a look at the opinions, um, discussing them. And then I want you guys to leave in the comments down below which opinions you agree with, which ones you don't and why. So first of all, the market is, like I said, a little bit down, but nothing really too noteworthy here. We do have the Bitcoin trade still running just about. Same with the Ethereum trade. Uh, both are not at break even points yet. But uh, again, if you want to see why I took these trades, then go back to the last couple of videos. You can see my thought process. Um, we do want to be really moving up on the Bitcoin one soon, however, or else we will be kind of moving downwards and therefore taking our stop loss out. However, there is a couple of levels on the way down that we could still take more trades from. Um, that being said, the crypto fear and greed index is currently at fear. I think this will probably update to a bit lower in fear tomorrow, uh, maybe like 27 or so, and stay pretty much on trend with this week or so. So let's get into the first few predictions. These are 21 predictions. Uh, so first of all, we have the overall token market flattens. So expect at least a period of unstable and essentially flat token markets. So this is the first opinion here. I would say that's a fair assumption to make. I think at some point there will be a time where, you know, coins just are flat. It's not necessarily going down a lot, but they're just falling flat. This might be when Bitcoin's going up and altcoins are kind of doing their own thing, but maybe going down slightly or staying stagnant. But by the end of the day, we are most likely going to see some type of flattening out with altcoins, some type of correction, um, whether that's this year or next year, whatever. Uh, I, that will happen at some point. So just do expect that if you're brand new to crypto. Um, next, we've got Elon Musk will continue misleading and confusing people new to crypto. Um, I mean, I personally don't really have too much of an opinion on this one. I think at the end of the day, the more people in crypto, the better, as long as they then discover uh, you know, channels and things that are going to teach them good things about crypto, um, how to actually get into it. Uh, which coins to get into rather than just meme coins but at the same time more people into crypto is better than less people into crypto that's my uh, opinion at least so go ahead let me know if i'm right or wrong down in the comments so we have nfts keep tanking uh, so this is an interesting one so nfts obviously had this big hype around them then loads of celebrities started releasing their own nfts potentially exploiting it quite a bit um and it seems like we have been in a bit where we've seen nfts kind of go down lower lower in value and a lot of people are questioning them and thinking, are they still uh, as hype as they once were? Do they still have the same value? And to that, I would say, I think NFTs definitely have a place. Uh, I don't know if we'll see the same type of hype we saw originally, uh, as the concept has now been out for a while. However, I don't think they're going to continue to drop lower and lower and lower for a long time. I do think at some point then we'll have some kind of NFT resurgence. Um, but again, let me know what your thoughts are on that. ETH2 arrives. So it's been planned for years, but Ethereum's transition to uh, proof of stake will finally take a definitive step next year uh, to the new POS beacon chain. And uh, this is going to be interesting because like we talked about with ETH2.0 coming, this will fix hopefully a lot of point problems people had with ethereum therefore taking it one leg above uh, competitors and continuing up higher this is personally i think something that will happen i do see ethereum doing very very well this year um, that is why i put my money where my mouth is and invest in ethereum as the largest uh, coin that i invest in we've got layer one diversity is real one of the most genuinely bullish things i've seen this year is the fragmenting of user interest for real meaningful applications across a number of blockchain and next year will be an expansion in the diversity of platforms people actually use. Again, I think this is very, very true. I think what we need for that proper crypto adoption rather than just people buying and holding crypto is people actually utilizing crypto and more platforms, layer ones uh, that we can actually use and make use of that is going to be very, very good indeed. The great token decoupling continues. So decoupling obviously refers to, you know, maybe, for example, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum decoupling or Bitcoin and altcoins decoupling not not being intertwined like they used to be so this is something that we may uh, may see more of i really do want to see this because i cannot stress enough how annoying it is having a market 
where everything is dependent on one main asset. This is what really lets crypto down in my opinion, is the fact that you can't go ahead and invest in an altcoin and uh, you know make really good gains on it unless uh, the rest of the market or unless the Bitcoin price does well. And that's really annoying because it's like, well, what if you are very bullish on certain projects, but maybe you just don't want to put your money in Bitcoin or your trust in Bitcoin. And therefore, your coin won't perform as well because Bitcoin is not performing well and vice versa. So it's annoying that you have to wait for Bitcoin to make moves for some of the altcoins to make moves. And I really hope that does start to change more and more. We've got Bitcoin mining, big sort. Uh, so Arcane Research predicts that we'll see more Bitcoin mining bans next year. I think this will be very interesting, especially with a lot of uh, you know green energy being pushed now in the world. I do think this is might be something that gets cracked down on. Um, so let me know what you think they're going to do about that. But I do think that could definitely be uh, something that could happen. Uh, the Fed gets tight. So the US Federal Reserve will be shrinking its bond buying program starting in January and is expected to raise interest rates in 2022. This will have a complicated and uncertain impacts for crypto. In theory, it should help tamp down inflation, but could also put downwards pressure on speculative investments that have attracted some of the loose money of recent years. So this will be interesting for sure. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to play out because it's one of those things where it's like by the rumor sell the news. You never know how news is going to carry price, but we will just have to wait and see for that one. Uh, Bitcoin's inflation narrative is tested. Um, so, of course, people always see Bitcoin as that inflation hedge. Our adoption hasn't reached a point where the underlying price is stable enough. But if inflation, inflation in continues or accelerates, then Bitcoin will need to show a market response. I do think that's true. I also think a lot of people will probably turn to Bitcoin if we see that inflation increase. So meme coins wipe out is another one. I do think this might be one. I think a lot of people this year invested in meme coins, lost a lot of money in meme coins. Of course, some people made some, but I feel like more people lost than made money on meme coins. And I do think just for the general health of crypto, whilst it is a bit of fun, of course, um, you know, a lot of people can lose a lot of money. And I think, you know, we should stick to the project that have those fundamentals and uh, if you are going to you know mess around with these these coins then fair enough but just be willing to lose the money uh, never risk more than you can afford to lose so stable coins get regulated is another one um, which means more enforcement actions from the u.s securities and exchange commission and co and this is something interesting because uh, here it says this the good news is the u.s regulators seem to be open to letting stable coins exist um However, they want to regulate them, of course. So for me, I'm a big fan of stable coins. I stake a lot of uh, a lot of USDC myself. Um, uh, one of the companies we like to use is Swissborg. If you want to use Swissborg, there's a link down in the description to sign up. And uh, essentially, uh, I think staking is really good with stable coins because you can get that nice stable return without having to be prone to fluctuations in the market. Uh, I do think it's going to be interesting when they start regulating them and whether they're going to still exist in the same manner. More nations adopt Bitcoin. I think for sure more nations are going to adopt Bitcoin since we've already had a couple, uh, you know, adopting it this year in 2021. And then this one about uh, Facebook's metaverse uh, not doing great. So early quarterly reports of, on virtual reality sales and usage are either bad or heavily massaged. And uh, the company redefines what it means by metaverse in the same way it kept retreating on, Lib on Libra. Now, of course, the whole Libra thing was a whole mess, but... Uh, hundreds of millions of dollars are wasted. In retrospect, everyone agrees that the idea of a social network you have to put goggles on was an extremely stupid idea all along. Well, I think it's going to be interesting to see about the metaverse in general. Like, I think there is value there with the metaverse. Like, imagine, you know, uh, with a lot of companies now going online, having some kind of office in the metaverse, that type of thing. I think the whole stereotypical thing where you have to put on goggles and you go into some, you know, you go to a coffee shop online. I think that's that might not happen in the way that some people think it might. However, I do think there are uses and a time and a place for it. Uh, I just think I just don't know whether Facebook is going to be the one that carries it out. I think we also have some great, you know, great contenders in the cryptoverse where we have, you know, Decentraland doing great things, the Sandbox doing great things, all for the metaverse. So I don't know if Facebook will be the one to carry that into mainstream adoption. However, it has done a good thing, to be fair, by, you know, getting that on people's radar, because I feel like no one knew what the metaverse really was before Facebook uh, piped up about it. Anyway, guys, let me know what your opinions are on all of these opinions and predictions. Uh, let me know if I was right, if they were right, if they were wrong, if I was wrong. Love to know what you guys think in the comments. And with that being said, I hope you have a great day. Catch you in the next one. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.